From the station that made country music famous, 650 AM WSM, this is a Coffee Country and Cody podcast. Hi, it's Charlie Maddows, and in this episode, we sit down with the great singer-songwriter Ben Rector. This episode was recorded November 19th of 2020. Ben had just released a Ben Rector Christmas, which included the Thanksgiving song. Enjoy our Coffee, Country, and Cody podcast with Ben Rector. Coffee, Country, and Cody. Sans Billy Boy this morning. He's off. I'm Charlie Matos. That's Megan Alexander. That's Eric Markham. And that is Ben Rector from Tulsa, Oklahoma to Fayetteville, Arkansas to Nashville, Tennessee to Coffee, Country, and Cody. I've been so looking forward to visiting with you, Ben. Welcome to the show this morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me, guys. And an early shout out before I forget to do it, because the older I get with a seven-year-old, I forget to do things. A shout out to Hillary this morning, and thank you for uh, for being one of our biggest fans. I love that. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell you, so of anything I've ever done, I'm not exaggerating, I think Hillary has been most excited about this. When I told her, she was just flabbergasted. <laughs> so kind. I love that. I love that. Are we recording? Did we get that? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll replay we that several times. <laughs> well, 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 the new record is out right now. It's called A Ben Rector Christmas, and we'll feature the video and the, and the single for the Thanksgiving song in just a minute. But I, I'm curious, because it, it's always interesting where a fan of someone finds the artist in their career. You probably have fans mm-hmm. who have been with you since the University of Arkansas saw with that first independent release there may be some folks who are watching on circle television today who will hear you for the first time so you never know where someone catches you on the journey for me i had the most amazing lift driver about three or four years ago who and i'm one of those people who likes to talk to the drivers okay and he his story was phenomenal he was a refugee from myanmar and worked three jobs while learning english and supporting a young family and it was it was the most amazing story and i told that story to our dear friend haley hall who's our assistant program director here and she goes oh my gosh that's ben rector's the men that drive me places and I was not familiar with that song. And from that song on, I have been your biggest fan. That, that, I, and I don't, know how many, I don't know how many times you hear that about different songs or <laughs> that song in particular. But it just so, it's one of those music is so universal. It's so hit home for me. Man, I, that, that makes my day. And it's so funny when you were describing your uh, Lyft driver, I was like, that's, ex- that's almost exactly the song. Um, but you're so kind to say that. And I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank yeah. you. What, uh, as, as a Nashvilleian now, but how long have you been in Nashville? When, when did you make the move? I feel like, I feel like Hillary and I can now claim to be Nashvilleians. We moved here in 2009. Okay. So that, I mean, that's, you know, at this point it's 11 years. Oh yeah. And you've seen it change big time in, in a little, oh, in a little over a decade. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's, I, I know it changed a bunch before we got here, but I feel like we kind of got here at the, at the beginning of the wave, yeah. you know? So as a Nashvillean now, what is it like to not only do it once, but do it multiple times, step on that Ryman stage and look out at a sold out crowd? So honestly, I feel like there are things that people kind of hype up and, you know, get excited about that maybe don't live up to it, but there's something about the Ryman that has always completely lived up to the hype. And I feel like going around the country and playing at different places, a lot of it can end up feeling kind of the same. And I can honestly say that there's not a room that I've ever been in. That's like the Ryman. And that's not, I'm not, I am not hyping it up. That's, that's genuine. It just has such an aura and uh, it's such a unique place to be. Yeah. Was your first time there playing or what did you see somebody there first? You know, I, I, it's interesting. You asked that. I don't know if I played there first or saw a show there first. I think I might have seen a, a Christmas show there first, but I played there. Uh, I opened there kind of early on, but even then I was just like beside myself to get to do it. I, I, that's the kind of thing where when I moved here, I was like, I'll probably never get to play there. Wow. Yeah. And then you get to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're, something that just caught my eye, too, that I think is so cool is uh, I'm a little obsessed with Christmas. If you watch the show or listen, people know this. Uh, there are mm-hmm. so many wonderful Christmas songs, new, old, classics, uh, people always adding their own spin on things, but not that many songs about other holidays, especially Thanksgiving. Talk about a wide open space to play in. <laughs> Tell us how yeah, you decided so- to go uh, on that holiday. 
For sure. So uh, I was going to make the Christmas record and my manager was like, you should really do an original Christmas song. And I feel like what people don't realize because they're so used to Christmas music is those songs are unbelievable. Like they're classics because it's like the greatest hits of the last like 70, 80 years. And so to add a song into like that canon is almost impossible. You've got like Mariah Carey, Wham, Paul McCartney and Wham and yeah. Paul McCartney. <laughs> that. that those songs kind of sound the same and not Christmassy at all. So really it's just Mariah Carey. And so I started, I, I didn't, I didn't have anything to add. I was like, I don't know what else I have to say in this, uh, in this realm, but I did want to write an original song. So I kind of thought like maybe I could do a, a Thanksgiving record or a Thanksgiving song. And half of it was honestly because Hillary is adamant about not listening to Christmas music before oh, Thanksgiving. And I those. knew that if, yes, and I knew that if I was going to release a Christmas record, it was going to have to come out before Thanksgiving. So I was like, all right, Thanksgiving song. And, you know, I had the idea, started writing it. But midway through, I was like, surely I am not the first person here. There's got to be just a bunch of Thanksgiving music that I don't know about. Finished the song, looked it up, and there really is very little. And I kept being like, it, am I not Googling the right things? Am I just, is there a bunch of it? And there isn't. So, um, you know, not a lot of competition for yeah, Thanksgiving songs, great. which I like. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that's really the story. <laughs> well, uh, for folks listening on WSM Radio, you'll hear it. For folks watching on Circle, you'll see a great video. Ben Rector and the Thanksgiving song. Familiar highway. Line with leaves turn brown Making my way Back into my hometown Funny how this all looks different But it feels the same That is the Thanksgiving song and a wonderful video accompanying it from our friend Ben Rector. A Ben Rector Christmas is out now. Uh, great artwork on the cover, although one would notice instantly if you're watching on Circle Television, the cover does not feature a mustache. The live and living Ben Rector does this morning. Is this a uh, <laughs> is this a COVID 2020 a mustache? It, I've, I've, I've joked with uh, a couple of people and I forget that I have it. So anytime I pop up on Zoom, <laughs> people who aren't used to it are like, whoa, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it started just kind of as a uh, as a joke for myself out of boredom. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels like it's the only small thing I have control over uh, this year. And I was just like, yeah, I can grow a silly mustache and keep it. Uh, Hillary does not love it. So I probably will shave it soon. And a couple of people actually mentioned that about the cover art. And so the artist redid one that we're going to release with the mustache. Oh, that's great. Well, and speaking of the uh, the record, it is available now and available whenever you download or, st or stream music, but a few hundred lucky fans who beat me to the pre-order were able to get vinyl mm -hmm. on this as well with both red and green vinyl available. So I'm a vinyl guy, so that, that kind of intrigued me right there. So I'm sure, I'm, I, I'm sure, I'm sure we could get you one. Oh, there you go. Well, that was my kind of yeah, toss. <laughs> we'll see, if that, we'll see if that works. So, uh, uh, hey, Christmas <laughs> Christmas is a great time of year anyway. It can be magical, but it is especially wonderful when you've got a three year old and twin boys who are about four months old. What a what a houseful, huh? Oh, wow, four months. <laughs> yes. You look so rested. Hey, say, uh yeah, say say a prayer for us. We're 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 just slowly making our way out of the fog, uh, one step at a time. They're really they're there. great babies, mm -hmm. and um, I was I was worried they were going to be. I mean, just two of them is that's a lot of babies, but they've ended up being really wonderful. Well, four and, four months, you're you're yeah. starting to feel okay, right? Like right. they're starting totally. to sleep a little bit better, and four months is sort uh, of turning 100%. the corner. It, it, yeah, it, it's like. I see pictures of them a few months ago, and I was like, that was not sustainable. And this, <laughs> right. I wanted to swaddle them for the first 10 years, but that wasn't allowed. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's interesting, too. I'm, I'm sure you probably would have planned to take time off the road. But since we have right. all been kind of mandated to stay close to home, what a wonderful mm -hmm. time for family, though, huh? It, it really has ended up being that way. And like you said, like I would have put a hole in my schedule kind of regardless, but it, 
it definitely feels like an ideal time to be doing it because it's not like there's anything else going on. So we're just, we're just hunkered down here, taking care of the uh, children and that's it. Well, the one bummer of 2020 is if, 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 if this were normal, we would have you in studio and spend the whole hour, but we, uh, we are wrapping it up now on coffee country and Cody Ben. It's been a pleasure. Can't wait to, to see you in person and, and have you come join us in studio. And thanks sometime. for a Thanksgiving song. Yes. Absolutely. That's that's Ben Rector on 6.50 a.m. WSM. A Ben Rector Christmas is out now. Thanks for listening to our Coffee Country and Cody podcast. Our program director at WSM Radio is J. Patrick Tittle. Our digital producer is Haley Hall. Marketing and promotions director is Amanda Cannon. And I'm Charlie Matos. If you like what you've heard, make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. And leave us a review on iTunes. It really does help new people find the show.